Okay, I want to find all the relative maxima and minima for this function right here, f of x equal x plus 4 over x. Nice uh, continuous function everywhere except where it's undefined, which is at x equals 0, because I can't have 0 in this denominator. So when I go to differentiate, I think of this as x plus 4 times x to the negative 1. I'll just bring that denominator up into the numerator. A lot of different ways to do this problem, but this is the way I like to think of it right here. Then when I differentiate that, f prime of x, I'm going to get the derivative of x, which is 1. Here I'm going to take negative 1, multiply by 4, and get negative 4, and then subtract 1 from that exponent to get x to the negative 2. Well, that's going to give me 1 minus 4 over x squared. So there's my first derivative. I'm thinking about it this way, but I can really just go from right here to here. All I'm interested in is where is this first derivative 0. So I'm going to set it equal to 0. That tells me where my maximum and minimum points are possibly. I don't know if it has any, but if it does have them, they will happen when the first derivative is 0. So ask yourself, how can this expression right here come out to be 0? We can go through a lot of work to solve this or whatever, multiply both sides by x squared. But really, I just want to know when is this 0? The only way it can be 0 is if x squared is 4. That will only happen when x is plus or minus 2. So these are my critical values for this function right here. These are the values of x that give me 0 for the first derivative. Now I want to know if any of those give me a maximum or a minimum point. So I'm going to go down here and draw a little number line. I'm going to put in negative 2, 0, and 2, and then I'm going to test a point in each one of these intervals right here in this first derivative and see whether I get a positive or negative number. So here I'm going to test in f prime of x. In this interval, I'll test the point x equal negative 3. I put negative 3 in for x, that's 9. When I square it, I get 1 minus 4 ninths. 1 minus 4 ninths, positive number. Now I go to this interval right here, and I'm going to test the point x equal negative 1. And I have 4 over negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. 1 subtract 4, negative 3, so that's a negative number. Here, my first derivative is undefined. I'll just put that in for reference. I'll go to this interval, I'll take the number 1, test it in here, I get 1 minus 4 over 1, so 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so that's a negative number, and here I'll test the point 3, 3 squared is 9, 4 ninths, 1 minus 4 ninths, positive number. So the first derivative tells me when it's positive that the graph is increasing, and when it's negative that the graph is decreasing. So this graph for this function right here, because of what happens with the first derivative, because the first derivative is positive here, that graph is going up, levels off, and then goes back down. That tells me this x equal negative 2 must give me a relative maximum. Here, the graph is, the first derivative is negative. That means the graph is decreasing, so it's going down, levels off at x equal 2, and then goes back up. So that means this must be a minimum. So this point x equal negative 2 and this point x equal 2 for x tells me that I'm going to have a relative maximum or minimum on this graph right here. So to find out what those actual numbers are, I have to go back to my original function and find f of negative 2. So I'll take negative 2 for x put it back into not the first derivative, but the original function, and I get negative 2 plus 4 over negative 2. <clears throat> that's going to be negative 2 plus negative 2, so that's going to be negative 4. So that tells me on my original function, f of x, that the point x equal negative 2, x equal negative 4, x equal negative 2, y equal negative 4 is a relative maximum. Likewise, I put in 2 for x, evaluate the function at x equal 2, I get 2 plus 4 over 2, that's 2 plus 2, that's 4. So that tells me that 
the point x equal 2, y equal 4, is a relative minimum. So I found my relative maximum, relative minimum for this graph right here by taking the first derivative, setting it equal to 0, finding those critical points, and then using this little graph down here to see where the um, first derivative is positive or negative so I can tell if the graph is going up and then down or down and then up. That tells me I have a maximum or a minimum. Now let's go to the computer and actually take a look at the graph of this function to see if it coincides with what we've done right here. So let's go to the computer. Okay, I'm going to put in the equation y equals x plus 4 over x. And there you can see that we have a relative minimum at the point 2, 4, and a relative maximum at the point negative 2, negative 4. Okay, so as you can see, these values that we got right here do correspond to what we get when we graph this function. And so here's a very common problem in first semester calculus. You want to be good at this kind of problem. Look at this derivative, how I did this for a while. Make sure you can do that very quickly, that you can find these critical values of x, and that you can draw this little chart down here.